In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Thank You for Letting Me Be Myself Again by Sly and the Family Stone, which I think I'll just refer to as Thank You from now on. This has a great bass part. This is Larry Graham on bass, of course, and this is one of the earliest examples, if not the earliest example, of slap bass being used on a recording. Now, this is a great line, and it's just a single four-bar bass groove that's repeated over and over throughout the track without any real variation at all. So really good fun to play, and it's really... Uh, Good to get your teeth into if you're relatively new to the slap bass technique so uh, definitely a piece to, to try and get under your belt if you can now if you want to check out a transcription of this piece do make sure you click on the link below and download my uh, free 61 page pdf guide to playing the bass guitar loads of useful information in there as well as a transcription of this song and several others okay with that out of the way let's check out this riff from thank you We're going to open at this bass line with the following three notes. Okay, so those notes are B, D, and E. So that's the B at the seventh fret of the E string, and then the D and the E at the fifth and seventh frets of the A string. And we're slapping those with the thumb. Now in terms of timing, that B begins on the upbeat, in the, or the and, of beat four of the counting. So if I, if I was to count this riff in, it would be like this. One, two, three, four. So that D is the first note of the first bar of the riff, if you like. Three, four. So we want three nice, strong, slapped notes there. We're going to follow that with three popped notes. These are Ds and Es on the G string, frets 9 and 7. And you're going to hook your finger under and pop them. So let's check out what we've got so far. One, two, three, four. So the rhythm on those pop notes is a little bit awkward. I won't go into the details of it, but it's a little bit syncopated, so you need to listen closely to the recording when you're learning this. We then play the low uh, D and E again with the thumb, and then pop the E and the D again. So, so far we've got this. And again, three, four. We now play the first chunk of the riff again. So everything that we did at the beginning there is exactly the same. And then we're just going to finish this by playing a slide into this D. You can slide into this D all the way from the B down at the second fret into the uh, second into the fifth fret. B into D, and then hit that open E, and you can let that open E ring for a little while. And whilst that's still ringing, you're going to pop those two notes again, those uh, that E and that D. So from the top, we have this. Three, four. And then we play it round and around, over and over again, throughout the entire song. And I always think one of the challenges with this song is to, is to play this groove, and only this groove, throughout the entire piece. Don't be tempted to throw in variations and mess about with it too much. It needs to stay relatively simple in order for the groove to work. It's a great exercise in not just, not just building effective slap bass technique, but an exercise in restraint as well, playing the right part for the song. So uh, a great line to get under your belt, really good fun to play, and I hope you enjoy working through it. Okay guys, thanks for checking out this song with me. I hope you enjoyed working through it. Don't forget to click on the link below to download your PDF guide to playing the bass, which contains a transcription of this song and several others. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this in the future. And if you have any suggestions for songs that you'd like to see me cover in these videos, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.